Blade of Eternal Darkness has had its drop rate buffed. Potentially other items, we'll get into that. We also have seen some changes in some of the runes. Some of the runes that were a lot harder to get have been now made a lot easier. The lockout resets has been fixed. If you were exploiting lockouts, that has been fixed. There's also players that are kind of exploiting a little bit of gold and reputation farm in the hinterlands and a few other things. So let's dive right in to everything that's going on in World of Warcraft today and there isn't an official blue post just yet on this at the time of the recording of this video but starting today players on North American realms saw a massive increase to the drop rate of the blade of eternal darkness now you're seeing in the background this is actually joker getting it back in the day for his 7,000th kill it was like 2,600 kills that he did this to finally get the blade to drop back in the day so oh yeah 2608 you can see it right down there it finally did drop for him here the old version but the new version in season of discovery did have a 0.26 percent drop chance and a lot of players are out farming this because it is technically your best in slot item for casters so you need to get this kind of and they actually did buff the drop rate. So starting on North American Realms today, as well as tomorrow on EU Realms, you should see this drop rate massively increase. It is most likely increased to the drop rate that we saw in later phases. So the 2% drop rate is probably best guesses. I would assume something like this, but if you're also thinking about maybe the Warlock Dagger from the Rifts, it does not look like, and at least from any data mining that I've seen so far, that that drop rate has increased least also so it looks like it's just the blade of eternal darkness now if you haven't seen it already players in hinterlands mostly alliance for some reason um are using an add-on to share all of the quests and do all of the quests for the incursions at a ridiculous rate this is literally happening live right now this is on showback stream live and in a second you'll see actually how this add-on automates basically everything so you can share all of your quests and you can see you just click clicking the one add-on. It will open up all of your envelopes for you. It will delete the useless items in your inventory. It'll basically automate the entire system. And then everybody rolls out all at once. This is legitimately how it's happening right now. And people are apparently making it all the way to Exalted in just a few hours, as well as players are also making over 150 to 250 gold every single hour, just sitting here doing this. It's very zone out way of doing it. And I would anticipate Blizzard potentially steps in, but the people that have already done this literally already have like the ridiculous amounts of gold. Like these people have been doing it for like a couple days and they already have unlimited gold. The economy is kind of upset about that. And speaking about the gold economy, if you saw my video yesterday going over how you can solo farm in Sunken Temple, it looks like, and I've heard reports that the Nightmare Whelps no longer drop Nightmare Seeds, although the buff of the Nightmare Seed drop rate within the raid itself is still in place. Now, I'm not 100% on this, and people can let me know in the comments if this is true that the Whelps are no longer dropping Nightmare Seeds, but I believe you can still farm way more Nightmare Seeds than usual and if you go in and do this now it would just mean you have to kill either the big elites or just go in with like a five-man group if you want to start making something like a few thousand gold an hour basically and then splitting it up between your group so if you are doing this farm if it is patched i have not seen official confirmation of this then just know that you can go in there and uh go in there with a the group if you need to on the offhand fist weapon from the raid, Serpent's Striker. I'm, I apologize for the quality here. This is on NA already, but you can turn in the 1.5 speed fist weapon to turn it in to the vendor on Yojamba Island to get a 2.6 speed weapon. It will also get rid of your enchants. So if you have an enchant on there, it will get rid of them. But now there is a slow weapon option with, with agility and stamina still the same proc. And this will actually be so much better for some some classes, enhanced shamans and melee hunters really, really like this weapon now. Uh, Serpent Striker, the fast fist weapon was not gonna be BIS for some classes, and now it absolutely is BIS to have two of these. So you're gonna be rolling against like your warriors and such to make sure that you have two of these so you can have a slow offhand. And on top of that, the runes from Ratchet, the Ratchet runes that would still cost you like 40 gold to get. Now you can just go in 
not do any of the quests and buy the runes for three gold. All of these runes, Sacrifice, Lone Wolf, Warbringer, Survival, Pact, and Dual Wield Specialization, all of them are now just officially three gold. And I guess I should say the Rewind and Harmonious Epiphany. You can technically do the quest still, but you can also just head down here, buy these runes for three gold. This is a great change that I hope Blizzard does more of, making some of the runes that were hard to get a lot more accessible for anyone moving Moving on into the next phases. And that should cover all of the new things that happened today that weren't announced beforehand for Season of Discovery Phase 3. I did forget to mention that Paladins had a massive buff to the mana regeneration of Seal of Martyrdom, so Paladins are going to somewhat compete with Shamans with Shamanistic Rage. Not realistically, as you're mostly seeing one to two Paladins per raid, whereas you're seeing like three to five Shamans in every raid, even at a 20 man size. So you're not actually having a similar mana regen as Horde versus Alliance, but it's something, right? It's it's helping. So it's definitely Blizzard trying to help in that respect. But the biggest change here is for most players, most casters, it's going to be the Blade of Eternal Darkness having its drop rate increase. So good luck to everybody. Hopefully you get the drop now. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything Season of Discovery as we are getting insanely close to 100,000 subscribers. I'll be doing some crazy giveaways here on the channel as soon as we hit that goal. So I will see you all on the next one.